So they've got a couple of defensive ends, I think Stone and Jackson, who veteran like you guys. And I'm just curious, you know, what's the difference between a veteran D lineman from your perspective? What what are they able to do that maybe younger guys aren't? Yeah, just more experience, right? Uh, experience brings a lot of college football. I'm um, just knowing what to do, just having like the the instincts. So I think that's that's definitely something that having experience really helps you out as a player. And they're kind of edge guys, but with the games that they play, I'm sure you're kind of expecting to see them at some point in your in your area. Yeah, I mean they're. Uh, Whatever that may be, right out there. Whatever they, they do, a lot of stuff. So uh, we're just looking forward to the opportunity to compete this weekend with them. And that's your wins of the season. How do you look back on the preparation? What do you think they did to get you guys ready? Do you feel the impact of difference this year? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, super thankful for uh, his commitment to this team. I'm um, just pushing us through spring, right, and uh, through summer, both phases. Uh, really intense training programs, um, and, and I think it's, it's been beneficial, right, for us so far. What's kind of the first impression you had of him, the way he kind of struck you this year? Real deal. I mean, he always wears long sleeves and stuff, but I mean, he took he takes it off every once in a while. I remember he, he took it off pretty early in the weight room when he had a tank, uh, a tank top underneath, and I was pretty impressed. <laughs> The short yardage for you guys this year has, has been a strength that hasn't been the case looking back a few years. What do you attribute that to? This I think just the mentality that and just repping a lot of it in practice. Um, that commend the rest of the O line for for their physicality and, and just uh, attention to the detail. What do you think about this Washington State? Yeah, super talented team. I mean, they've they've uh, they've had a tremendous season so far. Um, Really looking forward to, to Saturday. What is it they do that maybe will help them get penetration? I know they, they I think they are fourth in the nation in tackles for loss. Sort of yeah, I mean, just a good scheme. I, I think they really, uh, I think their coordinator, their defensive coordinator does a great job. Um, all, all their guys are, are bought in. Um, I think that really uh, is really an edge that they have. Can you talk about uh, re reuniting with Coach McGuire and kind of maybe the legacy he kind of set you guys up for for this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, Coach McGuire, dear friend of, of a lot of ours on the O line. Uh, it's been a really good year with him last year. Uh, really love that guy a lot with all my heart. Um, really looking forward to it. Um, We'll take care of that though at the end of the game. We'll just we'll look forward to compete first, and then uh, when the clock's hit all zeros, then uh, then we'll go and, and be friends, I guess. I know, I know you couldn't appreciate it in the moment, but Caleb's jump pass from the goal line to Jordan. You watched it in film. What was kind of the reaction to seeing that? I didn't know he jumped in third. I knew uh, I knew it was definitely there was some pressure. I had no idea until I watched the film that he was in the air and made that throw. So it was really a uh, really a. Uh, Impressed to say the least. Brett, we've, seen, we've seen like the highlight scrambling plays from him on the field. I just wonder, is there anything he's done in practice kind of along those same lines that you just don't like to? Uh, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, too many. I guess. Too many. You kind of come desensitized to it right after a while. You just. To us, it's Caleb. I guess to the outside world, it's, it's a little bit of a different perspective, but we see it all, all day, every day. So, um, Kind of, yeah, like I said, kind of desensitized to like some of the special stuff he does. Brett mentioned yesterday there's a number of plays in the red zone that are, haven't been called yet by Lincoln. Are there plays that stick out to you? Just like, is that ring true to you as well? Uh, sure. I mean, we have a pretty intensive playbook, so uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff in this offense, a lot of nuances and, and stuff that we could do um, out of it. So um, I, I think yeah, Brett, Brett stands correct in his in his assessment. Can you talk about the emotional boost you get from finishing a drive with a touchdown as opposed to a field goal? I mean, obviously the math helps, but just yeah. for the emotion of it. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, like you said, it's it's hard to win football games count by threes. Um, it definitely does give strength of heart, right, when you're going out there and getting in the end zone um, and and seeing the, the fruition come true out there, like on on the field, especially when they're 80 yard drives, 85, whatever the drive may be. Um, it does from an emotional standpoint, definitely feel good, right? After the game, Travis was talking about this team needs to learn to not take money for granted and not, not expect it. Was that talked about this week at all? Is that the talking point with the players? Or? Not necessarily. Um, I think it does bring a very great point, um, being that there's a lot of new transfers on this team, right? We're, we're relatively young and new. Um, I think that's definitely something that we need to, to not get caught up in, right? The early success. Um, because, I mean, you, you see college football every week, it's a battle, 
Um, so you just have to keep going out there and stacking little wins. Um, and then at the end of the season, let the experts decide what they want to do uh, in regards to, to December and January games, right? What would you say Travis has meant just as a leader in that sense on this offense here on the team? Yeah, uh, he really brings live to the running back room. Um, I mean, has the has the, uh, the competitive nature, the heart of a lion. Um, I mean, he's he might not be the biggest guy, right? But uh, I mean, you talk about like, just a competitor and a, and a dude who won't back down from anything. Uh, so, so I commend him for that. And, uh, just his accountability has just been huge so far for us, um, especially off at the side of the wall. See one more here. Which really talked about at, at the end of that game. Maybe you didn't have like the edge that you guys need or, or have had in that first half. How how hard is that to like feel and, and try to flip on and, and get that going? If it's not that early. Yeah, no, that, that's tough, right? Because you have to play four quarters, uh, especially as you start playing really good teams. If you're not putting together four quarters of, of a of a ball game, it, it's really tough when you get behind. Um, I, I think that again, something that that we need to address is, is just being a younger team. Um, we, we do need to come out hot, right? And uh, we need to uh, to really step on the gas pedal from the beginning um, and just put ourselves in the best position to win um, because it's hard hard coming out at halftime and, and having the, the come to Jesus conversations in the locker room and, and all that. Um, it's only going to work for so long. Uh, so I think as, as we continue to grow and mature, I think that's something that, that it has been addressed and I think that's something that we've paid particular attention to. Um, so really looking forward to how this team responds.